if you just tried that with me, I can guarantee you, uh, you're feeling what I'm feeling. You will actually feel it in your shoulders, in the upper part of your chest, okay? This is also a part of the anxiety toolkit. What's up everyone? Peace and love. Welcome to the wellness room. It's uh, Legacy Jackson here. I just want to tap in with you guys today. Um, I want to talk about, uh, for the moment, um, you know, different tools to help rebalance the throat chakra. Why are we having this conversation? Uh, because today, one of my clients, um, this morning, let me know that he, he had a pretty bad fall um, as you know I, I do some work with some pro bono work but also some consulting and some paid work but this just happened to be one of my pro bono clients um, that I work with regularly um, but he fell and he hurt his neck when he fell and um, you know we did just through some simple meditation breathing practices and a few other um, holistic tools that I gave him, we were able to, you know, really restore uh, some, you know, healing in his throat chakra. And so I said, man, you know what, today let's tap in and let's talk about the throat chakra. You know, um, the throat chakra, it's that sky blue color, the key of G, you know, these are the basic fundamentals. It's balanced by the truth, um, setting healthy boundaries. It gets unbalanced by untruths, um, not speaking your truth, um, not setting healthy boundaries. Um, you know, the planet that rules it is Mercury. Um, you know, those are kind of the basics that a lot of people talk about when we talk about the throat chakra. But I want to talk about how do, what are some holistic wellness tools to rebalance your throat chakra when you're having, you know, whether you fall or whether you're just sitting at a computer desk all day and, um, you know, and you get some tension in your neck and your shoulders, especially because so many of us are working remotely nowadays. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go through these tools. And I, I think that it's going to be very empowering um, to have some, to add these tools to your toolkit, not only to do yourself, but when you see someone else in the, the same position that my client was in this morning, that is really coming to you and they're saying, you know what, I need some relief. Um, I wake up every day to put your wellness in your hands. That's what I'm here for. And if I can help you begin to put wellness in your hands and, you, and help other people put wellness in their hands, I think the world will be a better place. So live free, live fly, let's get started. Make sure you subscribe, uh, click the like button, click the bell after you subscribe, comment, tell me if these techniques are working for you. Uh, make sure also I have below links to my podcast. I have links to my beautiful music that I make for you guys. I make both sound healing and R&B music. Uh, make sure you check those links out below. And, uh, you know, tell me what you guys think about that stuff too. ask questions, but make sure that when you come here, you have a voice. Thank you so much. Let's get started. So we, we talked about the basics of the throat chakra. And the first thing I want to do, the first tool I want to give you is the sound that unlocks the throat chakra. Um, a lot of time you'll see ham when you look online um, and ham, 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 you'll see that one. Um, but the one that I found that really works for me, and this is through actual experience, 
and we'll try it out together and we'll see what works better the ham or my uh, sacred sound that I like to use so mine is actually <sighs> if you were to spell it it would be like H A H H H H H H A H H H H H because I want you to get into your mind that we're gonna hold that H at the end as long as we possibly can so it's <sighs> If you just tried that with me, I can guarantee you, uh, you're feeling what I'm feeling. You will actually feel it in your shoulders, in the upper part of your chest, okay? This is also a part of the anxiety toolkit, um, the H-A-H-H-H-H sound. Um, and now let's try it with ham. See if you notice any difference with ham. Hold the M sound at the end of ham. Ham. I do notice some. I do. I'd be a liar if I didn't. But there's this concept when you're doing martial arts. I'm also a martial artist. There's this concept when you do martial arts, you're kiat. And you do this so that you can let out the, the rest of the air so you can put the rest of your force behind a block or, or a, a strike or a kick or something. Even when you fall to the ground so that you don't get the wind knocked out of you you're already being proactive and so when you do that H sound it's it's getting rid of the rest of it for you okay um, now obviously you're not <laughs> you're not breathing out as hard as I just breathed out <laughs> with that <laughs> you're not doing all that and you want it to be blissful actually you want it to be nearly orgasmic that's when it's like ex ecstasy and then blissful is that step higher than ecstasy so first let's start with ecstasy and we make it an like there, first there's the calm peaceful breath then we take it up a notch and it's ecstasy slash orgasmic and then it gets to that point to where it's so gentle and so compassionate and so slow motion that it's healing and that's when we're in that blissful state where we're completely still Okay, so the first tool that I'm giving you is the HA tool. It's the sacred sound for the throat chakra that actually works for me. Now, like I said, you can you can hop on Google and you can see these other things that that people have, but I'm actually trying to give you the tools that really work that you can try right now while you're listening to the podcast or while you're watching me on YouTube that you can actually put into action right now and try right now and get real results. So let's let's try it again. We breathe in. And breathe in. I can bet that even if you didn't try it right now, just by listening, you feel a little bit more relaxed. That's tool number one, the hot tool. Now, again, if you have if you've seen other videos, um, you may also see that I use this tool for a few other different toolkits. But when we're talking about the throat chakra, this is where this tool derives because it is the sound that I use when I go through my chakra tours for people. Number two. Number two is understanding targeted breathing, okay? Now there's three ways to breathe. There's, that's that more rigorous breath. You feel it, you hear it. You, you, you have this when you're exercising. That's usually when you're experiencing that breath. Then there's the kind of breath that happens just on a regular basis. You, you, whenever you just kind of become aware of the breath, right? You, you're not breathing rigorously or aggressively, but you can still feel the breath come in and out.
normal kind of breathing. You feel the breath. And then there's a more subtle breath. Now this one you don't feel and you don't hear. It's like you've opened up the window and you've just allowed oxygen to just trickle in, prana to just trickle in. And the way you open up that window is to open a specific channel that you wanna breathe into. So for this one, anytime we're doing what I, what I call targeted breathing or channel breathing, um, you, you, wanna, you want the breath to start here, not here, okay? You can kind of test that area if you breathe, try to breathe in through your nose and your nostril at nostrils at the same time, very gently. Where those two points connect, they it's like the mouth is here, the nose is here, and then they connect. At that point where they connect, that's where the air is gonna come in first. Then from there, as you inhale, I want you to send it right here to that throat chakra. I want you to send it right here. Send the air there. Now, keep in mind the throat chakra comes from here, right? These shoulders. And then if we were to draw a box, it would be like here. This is the throat chakra. Even though it's called throat chakra, it still affects this area here. Uh, some people say that might be controlled somewhat by the soma chakra. I just say that's your brain stem, right? Um, but we're talking about throat chakra. So as we breathe in very gently, remember, we don't want to feel the breath. We don't want to hear the breath. We just want to target an area and expand that area. We want to visualize expanding it. And we want to actually, from within, expand it, create the space. This, is, After all, this is the space chakra, right? So... Let's go here, we're gonna close our eyes. And again, if you need to find that, po that point, do your first breath with the nose and the mouth, and then we'll try three more, just targeting that area. So I'll, I'll do the first one uh, with the mouth open with you. So you'll notice that when you do these breathing techniques, that instantly there's a sense of calm that comes over you. Um, and so as we focus on this throat chakra here, you'll notice that as you breathe in, there's a cool sensation that comes in. That's what we're looking for. It may even be more blissful and more ecstatic depending on the level of intensity that you, there, that you find pleasure in your breathing. Again, as I said, it could be more orgasmic or more blissful. Um, and when you exhale, you want to find stillness. The goal is to create as much stillness as possible. Why stillness? Because karma is action. Karma is action. So if we can create stillness, that action is just gonna continue to move. And now we're gonna create, as we exhale, we're moving it off of us, okay? So we inhale to target, exhale to move it off of us. That's tool number two. All right, just to quickly recap, the first one is that sound that we talked about, the ha sound. And the second one is targeted breathing. And we really focus in on that third type of breathing, the most gentle type of breathing, not hearing, not feeling. And we're breathing into here, into here, okay? Now, this next one, it I call it uh, slow motion healing. You're also gonna see this in many other toolkits. But slow motion healing is very important because that's how healing happens. When we look at the planet of healing, a lot of people think it's Jupiter, it's not. And then you have a lot of people talking about in the Western 
more Western side of things, you hear him say, oh, Chiron is the wounded healer. Let's just get to the basics, right? The planet of healing is Saturn. It moves in slow motion. It is the slowest outer moving planet of the main seven luminaries that we regularly deal with, right? Outside of Rahu and Ketu, which are, which they're different entities. But as far as Saturn is concerned, and actually Saturn moves, Rahu and Ketu is 18 months. Saturn can be two and a half years to transit from sign to sign. If you include all of its retrogrades and, and you know, its yearly retrogrades. So Saturn is the slow motion healer. Notice Saturn doesn't limit you from getting anything. Um, I mean, doesn't, it'll limit you, but it won't deny you. Saturn won't deny you from getting anything, okay? So if we're talking about uh, slow motion breathing, we're, this is a Saturn process. It is the slow process. It is the healing process. In fact, the, um, the mantra for healing, Om Shri Shanishwaraya Swaha. Shanishwaraya, Shani, that's Saturn. So anyways. I'm, I'm kind of digressing. So on this one, we want to inhale very slowly to one side and then exhale even slower. Remember, slow wins the race on this one. Okay, so I'll give you an example of how it looks. I'll breathe in. And I exhale even slower. If I must take a breath, as I exhale, I pause. Inhale. And I just continue to exhale. However, the focus is to have the, enough breath control to do this all in one exhale, okay? And we do it from the same way on the other side. We inhale and then we exhale. And we can do it by tilting the ear to the shoulder as well. But that would be inhale straight in the neck and then exhale. We're always exhaling slower than we inhale. We're always moving the actual body slower than the exhale. We can do it, so we can do it here and here. We can do it here and here, right? Left and right. We can do it chin down and chin up. And we can also do it from the chin down and we roll the head around to the ear. Now, obviously, um, I'm actually doing it faster than we would like to do it. Again, this is a slow motion thing. So, when I'm, uh, I, I can let's let's go through a, an example of rolling the neck in, in slow motion, because oftentimes we have kinks in the neck, and I want to show you what do we do if we get a kink in the neck. If we say, for instance, we wake up with a crook in our neck, we maybe we didn't fall, maybe it hasn't just been that we've been working hard all day. Maybe we literally just have a crook in our neck this morning. So here we go. We inhale into the throat chakra, focus, targeted breath. Exhale, lower the chin. As we go up, we inhale. Now, say for instance, I feel a crook in my neck here. I exhale, inhale with my targeted breath to the point where there's tension. And then I exhale. See, now we're using a combination of the sacred sound, the targeted breath, 
and the slow motion. And that's really when we get into healing, okay? So then, now once we exhale out of that, we may wanna do it a few times, okay? Understand the deeper we go with the breath, if we just breathe in for five seconds and we exhale for 10 seconds, that's great. Can we breathe in for 10 seconds? Exhale for 20 seconds, right? If we're exhaling for 20 seconds, can we find stillness for 25 seconds, right? So it's the inhale is this one thing, and then the slow motion exhale is another thing, and then the slow motion movement is another thing. Now, the slower we move there, It makes us become truly connected, truly focused. This is also meditation at the same time. This is real yoga. When we're talking about, um, when we're talking about just doing the half of yoga, when you're stretching and getting in shape, and that's cool. But when we're really connecting the breath to the movement, and we understand how we're breathing as we're going, why we're breathing that way. Right. So if I'm focused on healing, I need to be moving slowly. Right. If I'm focused on strengthening, I'll move a different way. I'll breathe a different way. If I'm focused on flexibility, I'll breathe a different way. This time we're focused on healing. So let's go back. Let me come back to where we were. And I continue to inhale. I find another spot. Exhale. As I exhale, my goal is to relax and open up. Inhale and target it. Now I don't want to inhale because I'm adding trauma to that injury. So I want to make sure that I inhale very gently. And I move backwards. Once my the back of my head gets to the back here, I'm gonna exhale down to the other side, but that doesn't change what happens when I if I get to another crook. I still pause, finish the exhale, inhale and hold gently. Exhale, fully relax. Inhale gently, and then I continue to exhale down. Now, when I get to the end, I don't want to cross over just in case I have a herniated disc or something like that. I want to just go back to the same way I came. OK, now, if you have inflammation in your neck and you hear a squishy sound, you're not breaking anything. That's inflammation. I encourage you, if you're hearing a lot of fluid in your neck as you're doing this exercise, I encourage you to um, maybe take a turmeric bath, add some turmeric to some, some water. Um, definitely scale back on the starch, scale back on the carbs, scale back on um, things like vegetable oil or canola oil, and focus on just only using like olive oil, coconut oil. Um, scale back on the refined sugars, you know, rice, uh, white flour, scale back on those things. They're all contributing to inflammation in the neck. All right. So if you're hearing that squishy sound, that's that's all that is. Okay. Um, is it's it's a little bit you're a little inflamed. All right. So that's that. Now I've given you three tools. We have the targeted breathing. Okay. We have the slow motion healing. We have the sacred sound ha. Now. When you use all three at once, it's even more powerful, okay? Now let's talk about more on the logic-based side of things, okay? Even though that was still very logical, but you get what I'm saying. Um, when I talked about balancing the throat chakra through setting boundaries, well, why is the throat chakra sometimes unbalanced by people that can't set boundaries or that um, don't respect boundaries. Well, you can sin by excessive speech, talking too much, right? You say too much, you just run your mouth, run your mouth, you run your mouth, and your mouth cannot keep up with your thoughts. That can show that you have an overcharged, overutilized throat chakra. 
um, if you have boundaries um, and if you if you have if you are unable to set clear boundaries what ends up happening is you don't speak your truth you hold it in you congest and block the throat chakra right so that's very very important i want you to understand that the throat chakra has the thyroid gland here now this is regulating your metabolism okay so i want you to understand that it's it's both physically regulating your metabolism but it's also regulating the mind through your speech okay so you're you need to be conscious of what comes in you need to be conscious of what comes out you need to be conscious of how much right speak direct everything is defined by their boundaries every state border every word in the de in the dictionary is defined by its boundaries and it's defined by the words that set those boundaries a human being is defined by its boundaries everything in this universe is defined and classified by its boundaries so if we're unable to respect boundaries if we're unable to set healthy boundaries you could see how this could do a tremendous disservice to our entire energy center what ends up happening is now our heart chakra tries to accommodate our third eye try to tries to accommodate because they're directly next to it right but the other chakras that harmonize with it the throat chakra the solar plexus the crown chakra all are disrupted okay and you can see that if you were to play that chord on a piano e g b that's the same chord that we could use to help cleanse the blood so that's it's very important when we're understanding the throat chakra that we don't have too much or too little it needs to be a balance because then you're going to either wear out that energy center and make others have to compensate for it or it's going to be blocked and others will have to compensate for it and then that's when you can begin to see karmic backlash so i um let's see where we are on time we're almost at 30 minutes so i think i've given you guys a great um some great information on the throat chakra and i encourage you to try these exercises listen to songs in the key of g um do you could do the mercury mantra you know om buddhaya namaha or the or you can add the sacred uh seed sounds om brahm brim brahm so buddhaya namaha uh you can do the my favorite mantra for the throat chakra thank i'm so glad i went into mantras my favorite chakra for the throat chakra is actually the ganesha mantra magic mantra you can check out shivani's channel i think maybe i'll link to it underneath this video um but she does sanskrit mantras um, the Ganesha magic mantra Om Shreem Rim Kleem Ganeshwaraya Brahm Rupaya Charave Sarva Siddhi Prere Chaya Bigne Chaya Namo Namaha The reason why I like that one is because it's said that if you do that that mantra enough you'll never be able to tell a lie. Everything you say will eventually become truth. Um, you will only speak truth. So I really like that mantra um, it definitely makes you feel comfortable speaking. It makes you feel have clarity in your speech. It makes you not speak excessively. Um, so definitely check out that check out that mantra. Um, and yeah, so uh, definitely you also want to look at where Mercury is in your birth birth chart. Um, where Venus is, Venus is what goes into your mouth, Mercury is what comes out. You may want to look at some things in your second house. Um, contact me if you want some more information on those kind of things. I could give you some remedies here and there. Uh, but yeah, tap in. I really appreciate you staying until the end. You're great. You're wonderful. You're beautiful. Again, thanks for visiting the wellness room and welcome to the crystal culture. Peace.